Hey guys, Red Drivers there, and today I'm going to show you how you can change out the storage drive on a late 2012 Mac Mini. Now this is a Mac Mini 6.1, I believe it is the last model that has user replaceable storage. So in order to do this, you're going to need 3 bits, so a Torx 6, a Torx 8, and a Hex 2. Now that is for all of these screws. Now you're also likely going to want some curved tweezers, just to help you unplug some of the plugs and get to the cables. And then you probably also want something pointy like this, just to be able to take off the back plastic cover. So the first thing you need to do is you just need to turn your Mac Mini over, and then you want to look where the two dots are. So if I hold this up closer for you there, hopefully you should be able to see there is a black dot there, and then a circular dot there. So you want to use the two holes on the plastic cover here to get your thumbs in like so. And then you want to rotate the plastic cover around so this white dot here lines up with this blank dot here. If I rotate that round like so, now you should be able to see that white dot is now lined up with the blank circle instead of the black circle. So now if I place this back down, I will then get my pointy metal spudger and I will just get it under the edge of the plastic like so and just lift the cover off like that. So there we go, that is the bottom cover off. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to remove the RAM sticks out of here. So all we need to do is just open these tabs here. So push them outwards. So if I get my fingers like so on both sides, and I push them outwards so that it unclips over the RAM and then we can get hold of it and pull it out like so. And then we do the same again on the bottom one, like so. So that is both sticks of RAM removed. And we now want to get our Torx T8 bit and we want to remove that screw, that screw and that screw. So if we loosen these screws off, so I fully removed those two there, and then I've just undone that one there and left it in. So now those screws have been undone, we can carefully lift up this fan here, being very careful not to damage the cable that is on this side here. So we want to lift it up just enough so that we can see the cable where it is plugged in on the motherboard. So I don't know how well you can see, hopefully you should be able to see, there is the plug for the fan there. Now to get this plug undone, you can either hold on to all four of the wires and try to gently pull it up, or you can get some curved tweezers underneath the edge of the plug and carefully push it up like so. So that should get the plug out from the socket. So with that out, hopefully you should be able to see that the plug comes out from the socket straight upwards. It doesn't slide out or anything like that. It just comes straight up. So we can now just put that fan to one side. So we now just need to remove this black plastic plate here. So if we get our Torx stick screwdriver again and we undo this screw here and there we go that screw is now out of there. So now with that screw removed from there we can now rotate this plate round that way. So if I get my curved tweezers and I just get it in the little hole there and I use that to help me try to pull it around like so. It should rotate around and you can just get it lifted up over this metal plate here. So it should rotate around like that and then come out. So if you couldn't see that very well, we were rotating this piece like that to get it out from this slot here. So now that's been done, we've now changed over to our Torx 8-bit and we need to remove those two screws there. And now those two screws have been removed, we now need to remove these two screws here. So we need to change to our hex 2-bit and we will now remove them. And now those screws have been removed, we can now get hold of this metal plate and we want to lift up this edge here so that we can then get our fingers on these metal tabs that are sticking out here. And then we want to pull it this way so this metal plate wants to slide this way. And once it's slid out enough to get the lip up over the case, you want to very carefully lift it up like so as the antenna cable runs along under here. And then I will just use my curved tweezers to get the antenna cable out from under the aluminium shell. Now it is still plugged in on the board under here. So if I lift this up for you, hopefully you can see that the plug is under this sort of cover here. So if we finish getting the cable out from under the case, and then we lift the cover back so that we can get a better look at the antenna plug. So with that peeled back, hopefully you can see that gold antenna plug there. So to unplug that, we will just get our curved tweezers and we will just get underneath the plug and we will gently push it up until it pops off from the connector. So you want to be careful with it. Make sure you evenly unplug it as you don't want to damage the connector. And there we go, that's now popped off. So that little plug has unplugged and you can hopefully see the gold plug that it was in on the board there. So with that done, we now just want to unplug this plug here. So if we just get our tweezers underneath and we lift it up gently, 
it should come unplugged from the board. So hopefully you should be able to see now that this plug here is now unplugged from the board. That is the plug that connects this SATA drive to the main motherboard. And now that's been undone, we can now get our fingers in on either side of the drive. We can tilt it up like so until it's tilted up as far as it will go. And then we can pull it towards ourselves to slide the drive out like so. So the drive has two screws on this end that recess into two holes on the inside of the metal case here. So to change this drive over, we just need to disconnect this connector from the drive. So if you have this sort of black plastic on it, all you have to do is peel back this sticker here. So with that sticker removed, from between those two pieces, this connector can now be unplugged. Now, if you want to stick this black plastic on your new drive, you can do. I'm not going to bother. I don't think it's necessary. Now, before we change over to our other drive, I'm going to take these two screws out of this drive here. So it uses the same Torx 8 screws. So if we just undo these two, and there we go. The Torx 8 screws have now been removed from the drive. Now, if you want your whole system copied over to your new drive, you will have to look at cloning this drive to your new one. Else, if you just want to reinstall your whole operating system like I'm going to do, you can just put your new drive in that is blank and then install from there. Right, so we now need to put the two black screws back in on our new drive. So you want to put these screws in on the side of the smaller SATA connector here. So as you can see, there is the big connector and then there is the smaller connector. You want your screws to be in on this side of the drive. So if I put those screws in, and there we go, those two screws are now in on that side. So now if we get our SATA connector and we now plug it into the drive like so. There we go, that is that now plugged into there. Right, so now we need to put the drive back into the Mac Mini. Now it can be a little difficult to get these two screw posts back into the recess holes on the actual Mac Mini case. Now the best way I've found to do it is to first get the drive in loosely. And then once it's in, turn the Mac Mini around like so, and then stand it up. So the drive is near enough resting on this bottom here. Then once you've got it angled like so, you just have to fiddle about trying to get it to go into the holes. And there we go, that feels like it's now in the holes. So if I turn it back around, we now need to plug the drive back into the motherboard. So this plug here, we want to plug into the left hand side plug here, not the right hand side one. So you want to plug this plug for the drive back in. So just line it up over the top. You might have to move it around a little until you feel when it drops into the plug. And it may also be helpful to look at the plug from the side whilst you're trying to line it up. And there we go, I've now pushed that plug on. So that is now plugged back into the main motherboard. So that plug there is now plugged back in. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to reattach the antenna cable. Now this can be a little tricky, but the best thing to do is get the cable and bend it a little so that you can then angle it under, so that you can angle it under this cover here and then back onto the gold male plug on the board that you can hopefully see just there. So if we angle it and get it roughly lined up and then we use our curved tweezers to position it directly over the plug. Again, it's helpful to look from the side and then once you can see that it is over the plug, you then want to use your tweezers to gently push down on it so it pops back into the plug on the board. And now that's been done, we can now push that cover back down over it and then we want to rotate the metal piece like so so it's near enough in position then stand it up and get the aerial cable under the aluminium casing around the edge until it's in near enough all the way and then get the metal grating and slide it under the aluminium edging until it's all back nicely in place lined up with the holes here so now that's back in place we will now first put these two hex screws back in here so we'll put this screw in and that screw in. And now those two hex screws have been put in, we will now put these two torque screws back in. And now those two screws are back in, we now want to get our metal plate. And I will just change back to my torque six bit. So we now want to get this plastic plate and we want to angle it with this corner. So the end curved bit of this corner to be in this corner over here. So if we get it in and then you rotate it round making sure that the plastic goes under the aluminium casing here. And there we go, it's now rotated round and in like so, so the screw holes there and there line up. So if we now get the screw for it, and we put the screw back in there, and there we go, that screw is now back in there. So now we just need to get our fan, and we need to make sure we plug this plug back into the header on the motherboard down here. So this header right near the Wi-Fi antenna here. So if you just line the plug over the top of the female plug on the board, 
And once it's lined up, if you then just push the plug down, it should click into place. And once it's clicked into place, if you then line the screws up with the holes on the motherboard, and then you just want to screw the screws down. And there we go, those screws are now back in, so the fan is now reconnected with the fan plug plugged back in. So now if we just get our RAM sticks, and you want to make sure that the little slot there lines up with the little slot here. So make sure you have them the right way around, they will only go in one way. So if you angle them at around a 45 degrees angle into the slots, and then push them in till they're in the plug, and then once they're in the plug, if you then push them down, they will then go past the clips on the side and the clips will clip in and hold them down. So if I do the same again, put it into the plug, and then once it's in the plug, push it down and it should clip in. So now the final thing to do is to put the bottom cover back on. So pay attention to where the little white dot is. And you want to make sure that that little white dot lines up with the hollow circle there. So if we hold it over the top and line them up and then let it go, and then just push it down and now that's lined up with the hollow circle if we now get our fingers and we get in the holes and we turn it clockwise till it's round to the solid circle there that is the cover now reattached onto the bottom so guys there we go that's how you change the storage drive on a late 2012 mac mini so the mac mini 6.1 if you like the video don't forget the like button if you just like to hit the dislike button subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you another time bye